Right guys, this video is going to take you through the AI features that you can use inside LRG Fundamentals. So this is part of a new series uh, that needs updating after we've changed Fundamentals quite a bit. So this one's just going to concentrate on specific stuff to do with the AI. So that will cover modules and difficulty settings and, and stuff to do with uh, Zeus as well, a few bits. So the first thing we're going to look at is the modules. So this is just a, a, a mission inside our library. So this is access to anybody. Uh, I'll put up some links in the, the bottom of this video so anyone can see it. And then I'll take you through what's actually going on here. So if I look at the map, you can see there's a load of these AI Spawn East modules, which I've placed. And they are located under Systems, LRG Fundamentals, and you've got some Spawn uh, icons here. So you can do East, Independent, or West. And what these do is they are literally there to just populate an area. So if I click on one here, you can see that what I've got here, objective name can be whatever you want, enemy faction, whatever faction you choose, make sure you've got that actual mod on. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. It gets added to reasonably often as well. Uh, and if it's not uh, there what you want, then just request it and we can uh, look at adding it if it's popular enough. But just make sure you've got that mod and pick whatever you want. Then you've got all your, your values here. I'm, I'm sure you can kind of figure this stuff out. There's some... Uh, tips at the bottom to help you but you can just put max and min values so you can randomize it a little bit and it will populate so all i've got on these ones is just some garrison stuff i don't want patrols in this case but there's lots of stuff here and you can literally copy and paste these if you do control c control v you can populate some more if you wanted to and it'll they'll have the same values so that's all this is is lots and lots of place things so rather than having loads and loads of ai i'd have to manually place in all these towns i could just set it up once copy and paste those modules all the way around the map uh, wherever I want. So I just want to garrison some small, sm uh, ooh, can't speak, some small compounds uh, like this one. I just want a couple of people here, a couple of people there. I don't want hundreds and hundreds of AI I'd have to place manually. So it's just to speed things up. And these are all east. So you can use independent, you can use west. So west is a good one if you want to do like uh, populate friendly bases very quickly. You can just put the module down uh, and, and select what friendly factions that you want and just get that sorted. Uh, and it and it's re reasonably friendly on frames. It should be quite good unless you go crazy. It's very very easy to to overdo it and put too many people in. Because bear in mind, if you're selecting three or four groups, they can be up to eight guys. And if you keep doing that, you can end up with literally hundreds of AI, and it will get too much. So, err on the side of caution. If you have to, you know, add a few extra guys in manually yourself, if you're not sure, that's better than having to delete loads of AI because you've gone crazy. But these are just lots of little small things. Now, before I show you actually what they look like, we'll go through something else, which is to do with the difficulty settings on those AI. So the AI will have a default difficulty setting, and that is located under settings, uh, add on options, and under, scroll down, LRG AI. And because I've got a file, and this is all grayed out, but it'll show you anyway, this is the difficulty settings that your AI will have that you place so you can set them anything you want. Obviously, this won't be grayed out on your screens, but you can have whatever you need. I generally recommend something around what it's on at the minute. You always want commanding courage in general on, on Max, to be honest, because otherwise they are incompetent. And you've got a few other bits and bobs as well. The include initial AI, if you manually put some AI down yourself, you can use these settings for those as well. So rather than dragging all their settings around yourself and trying to do them all manually, that will, it basically will do when you boot the mission, it'll scan for all AI and make sure they're set to this setting if they're not already so that'll get them all sorted as well um nice and simple you can change that save it uh, this video won't go over this kind of settings menu and um, that's kind of a cba thing but there is videos online i might link one in the description so that's setting all your modules it's setting anything you place down manually and the last thing you want to set is whether you want your zeus when they place ai down to also have that option to have their settings done. So to do that, if you go to your Zeus modules and there's a little LRG Fundamentals config Zeus, if you tick that, then any AI that that Zeus player places down will have those settings as well. So it will just carry on through. So you've got it, no matter what way you place AI, pretty much you will have them set to your difficulty setting that you can change and it'll all be sorted for you. So that's the difficulty setting done. So we've got them all spawning. And what we'll do now is we'll just play this mission so you can actually see exactly what happens uh, and what the AI look like. Okay, so we're spawned in. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to open up Zeus. Any second now. There we go. 
and we're gonna have a quick look around the map so before you saw those modules now what you can see is just lots of little AI spawns uh, all around the map you, players can't see where these are there's no like markers on the map or anything like that you need to worry about it's completely invisible to them and what you'll have is in locations garrison troops I don't think I've put any spawns in for patrols on this one at all so it will just be garrison for this one or vehicles this was just supposed to be a nice uh, like compound clear type mission uh, but as you can see they're all spawned in so if I double click on this you'll see skill bar is full. Now, I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but the reason that's full is because I think it's under general or command or one of those settings that's on full is um, is what that actually is. So that's not an average. It's not, you know, um, the, the, whatever else it is. Literally, whatever that specific one was, which I can't remember what it is. So don't look at that and go, oh my God, the AI are on 100%. They're not. It's just because you've got command in or general or one of those. Courage, maybe. Probably uh, general, if anything. Um, and that's why... It looks like they're all on 100%. So don't worry when you see that and panic. But as you can see, they're all done. So I didn't put any AI down initially, did I? Maybe I did. don't know if these bunkers were down. Yeah, the bunkers. I pre-placed those so they weren't part of the module. And as you can see, 100% as well. So that you, you know that their AI settings have been changed. So the last thing we can check is let's just make sure that when we place something down in Zeus. Uh, I don't know. Just randomly put a team down here. If I place these down. And let's double check. 100%. So they're all set as well. So again, it's not that they're all on 100%. If you see that 100% bar, that means basically that their settings have been done. If it's about, I think, 40% default um, outside of fundamentals, and if it's not on, then you think, hang on a minute, maybe it's not set it. But it should work as long as you've got those options set. It's a nice, simple system. Uh, again, there's no limit on how many modules you place down. You can set them, the AI on them to 0 to 1. We do that quite a lot. So some of the compounds will be um, populated, some won't. And then next time you do the mission, it'll be the other way around. You can totally play with it, set the, the garrison distance and, and all that sort of stuff. But fingers crossed, that should kind of give you a bit of a, a helping hand to making your missions. The whole point of this is so you can just quickly smash it down. And you don't have to worry too much about... Uh, building your missions town by town you can concentrate on your objectives and just let this module do the rest of the work for you um, hopefully this video has helped uh, if you've got any questions then feel free to drop us in the comments or uh, res respond on steam and we'll get back to you cheers guys